everyone and today we talk about a topic one of the topics that's actually the most requested topic um when it comes to business startups and that is funding there is actually two ways to launch your business and that is one with funding or two without funding so 99% of businesses in South Africa alone fall into the second category and people are actually launching their businesses without any financial assistance right they then fund each month's operations through the sales either from their products or from their services right so this is also known as bootstrapping and you can learn more about that on how to bootstrap your business in an article which i'm going to link below but that is actually when you launch your business without funding so some startups can't actually be launched without business funding so most of them reach a point where they feel that they need some capital to help them to support them grow or maybe sometimes it's just to fulfill a large order right so this is where business funders come in from banks to venture capitalist firms and even the government there are substantial resources of financial aid available for you to boost your business venture just so that you can know um what type of business funding suits your business the best some examples of these are government grants loans financing equity funding venture capital funding angel investment funding personal debt funding but in today's video specifically i want to focus on government grant funding what is government grants right government grants for small businesses are popular with startup because online bank loans they need to be repaid with interest um grant funding does not need to be repaid right this doesn't mean it's free money <laughs> don't get me wrong the hurdles you need to go through to access partial or full financial support can be intense right so to access grant money you'll have to submit the right paperwork and your paperwork needs to be 100% correct your business will need to align with specific projectives initiatives that sometimes listed on that specific um agency or department's website right so make sure that you approach the best government agency for your business but don't work together or refer applications to each other right because grants do not need to be repaid they are strict guidelines for applications and the process is so lengthy so sometimes you actually need expert advice to help you through that process of application and once you're successful though you will have all the funds you need to launch and grow your south african startup and to actually start changing lives so here's a pro tip government grants are there to support small businesses right your chances of securing funding will increase if you can show that your business can improve the lives of others i'm going to say that again your chances of securing funding will increase if you can show that your business will improve the lives of others this can be through employment through solving a problem or just contributing to economic growth right so who are government grants best suited for business funding in south africa is backed by the government generally it supports black economic empowerment job creation and also developing the economy so most government grants are exclusively for previously disadvantaged individuals right and that includes um black owned youth owned female owned right how are these grants repaid you don't need to pay them back not even interest but there are certain conditions which could be attached to the funding as an example they could require you to hire local staff as one of the government's goal in terms of job creation right so grants are designed to help you build your business but also to by it forward. So if you had that type of mindset then this is potentially the route that you could go. So consider who else is going to benefit from your small business's success. So what are the pros and the cons of government grants? Some of the pros are that it's not a loan, you don't need to pay it back, right? The government always wants to help you to tick some of those boxes. This means that the barrier to entry is low. and if you are previously disadvantaged young female and you have a solid business idea you are in 
and the funding amount is substantial if you meet the requirements right what are some of the cons of government grants is the funding criteria is specific and you may not qualify you may be required to use the money under certain terms and conditions to benefit your local government it's also a long price process involving a lot of paperwork sometimes a lot of interviews and it can sometimes take up to months if your paperwork are not properly completed just to mention a few of south african government grant funders i'm sure you have heard of the national youth development Ag agency nida they provide business funding to startups and establish businesses by the run by young entrepreneurs right between the ages of 18 and 35 there is one of the requirements very very strict 18 to 35 and then the funding ranges from 1000 to 200000 so imagine what you could do what boost it will give your business um if you are approved for one of these uh, business fundings there is also the youth pipeline development program and this program is run by the idc and is designed to help aspiring applicants understand the funding process fine tune their request for funding proposal so they actually help you it's a development program to help you apply for funding there's also the isivanda women's fund um this is only available to women yes there's some of those as well the intention of this fund is to empower female owned business ventures right in addition to funding education there's also training offered with that so as you can see there's a good couple of South African government grant funders and all that you have to do you just have to spend a little bit of time on the internet go on to our government websites and find these um agencies right in closing also some tips to improve your chances of accessing your grant funding you have to do your research right so you have to research each grant fund thoroughly before approaching them you have to find out what do they stand for what are they trying to achieve and who they have awarded grants to in the past that should be available on the website i want you to remember this is a long process with a lot of paperwork i mean somebody is giving you money for free basically you don't want to waste their time on funds that they don't potentially want to invest in a business like yours you want to make sure that all your paperwork are on point it's ready for submission and they are able to access it quickly understand it and know exactly what you stand for and what you want to achieve in this so i hope that this has been helpful we will continue with these funding videos i will create a couple more of them because i know that most people would need a boost in their business to support them in getting their business started bootstrapping is definitely not for all of us so if you like this video please give me a comment tell me how you feel about it and subscribe to the channel as well and of course watch the next video because this channel is all about entrepreneurs mindset bye for now